So one thing I wanted to show everybody how to do is to shade a particular line to call attention to it. So let's say I have this big large heading for my flyer and I want to put a color behind it. Now most people what they'll do is they'll try to highlight it and they'll go up to the highlight button and they'll try to highlight it that way. And what that does is it creates color just behind the actual text. So it looks a little bit cramped and it doesn't go the full width of the page. So if this were to be smaller font, oops, I went bigger. If this were a smaller font and let's say a deeper highlight color, it's going to look a little bit cramped and weird. So in order to properly shade it, what we need to do is get rid of that highlighting. So highlight and choose no color. And then with our cursor inside of that heading, we'll go up to the fill bucket, which is called the shading bucket, but everybody calls it the fill bucket. And this gives us not just options in terms of filling the entire width of the page, but now we can choose from our theme colors and truly any color that we want. So if I want to use the green, and then I can again highlight and make this font a lot bigger. But notice now that it gives us more space and it's filled that entire width of the page. So if I zoom out, that really calls attention to the text. So if you're going to shade the background of your text, make sure to use the shading option and not the highlight option.